Gracie! Yeah? Come, look. Oh, George, for me? Uh-huh. Oh, you're the sweetest husband in this whole house. Uh, Gracie, uh, sit down. Hmm? I'd like to talk to you. Well, uh, later, dear. Let's fix the flowers first. But what I have to say is very important. Well, uh, later. Uh, will you get me that vase over there? Oh. Well, I guess it can wait a little while. It's a beautiful. Aren't they pretty? Yes. Well, uh, what'd you do with yourself today? Oh, I was shopping. Oh? Yes. Oh, my, the department Here, stores were crowded today. I was at the exchange desk, and the girl was out to lunch, so we all had to wait in line. Mm -hmm. And I was seven. Well, that's your lucky number. Mm-hmm. I asked the lady in front of me what she was exchanging, and she said, um, well, I have to return these shoes for my children. They're too tight. And I said, shame on you for allowing your children to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was telling us. Mm-hmm. Then the line moved up, and I was six. Oh, the girl came back from lunch. No, the woman in front of me went to the back, back of the, of the line. line. I should have known that. <laughs> oh, and then the man ahead of me, uh, uh, he, he looked so peculiar. He had a lot of hair on the side of his head, but none on top. So I said to him, I said, my, you must have grown fast when you were a boy. You grew right up through your hair. <laughs> That was a nice way to break the ice. Mm -hmm. And then I was fifth. Oh, and moving up fast. Yes, and then, then there was a lady and her husband in front of us. And so I said to the woman, I said, I hope that girl comes back from lunch soon. She says, so do I. I have to make an exchange for my husband. His hat's too small. And you said? Why change your husband? Why not get him a larger hat? <laughs> and you're now fourth. Third. Oh, they both move. Yes. Oh, I see. Let me see. I think I'll change those over oh, here. Oh, put those flowers in there, yeah. So, then the little fat man in front of me jumped out of line, and I was second. What? The, what did you say to him? Nothing. He backed into my umbrella. <laughs> uh, well, it serves him right. Yeah. Now, and then the girl who was first in line was very pretty, but she was rather rude. She was rude? Yes. I was talking about the movies, so she interrupted me, and she said, uh, have you seen my foolish heart? So I came right back at her, and I said, no, but if your neckline was any lower, I sure could. <laughs> By this time, the girl was back from lunch, and you were at the window. No, I was in the back of the line. You were in the back of the line? Well, everybody else went there, and I wanted to see what was going on. <laughs> And you know, it was a lucky thing I did, too, because I heard somebody say there was a crazy woman up front. You know, you know, you know, Greg. Here, Dad, give the, throw those away. <laughs> Throw them away? Oh, wait, I got an idea. Uh, Blanche, Blanche Martin. Yes, George. I got a surprise for you. For me? Uh, Blanche, uh, flowers. Uh, Harry got you these flowers, but they were delivered here by mistake. Harry bought flowers for me? For you. Oh. Blanche, would you throw this button on, please? You and your guilty conscience. Oh. Where were you last night? Why, you never said 